The scripture portion for today's meditation is taken from Exodus chapter 1 verses 15 to 21. Let us praise God for giving us another opportunity to meditate on this important passage from the Bible. Here we can see that Pharaoh had a problem. The Hebrew slaves continued to multiply within the nation. So his next plan was to command the Hebrew midwives to kill the baby boys during the birth and yet allow the baby girls to live. The verses 15 and 16 say, The king of Egypt said to the Hebrew midwives, one of whom was named Shibra and the other Pua, When you assist the Hebrew women in childbirth, if it is a son, kill him, but if it is a daughter, she may live. As for the king's command, during the delivery, the midwife was to suffocate the baby boy, so it appeared to be stillborn. And then she would have to cover up the murder. What a difficult position these women were put in. Their boss, their authority, told them to commit what they knew in their hearts was wrong. They had to make a decision. They had to make a choice. I wonder, have any one of you ever been faced a situation like this? If so, how did you manage? The verse 17 says, But the midwives feared God and did not do what the king of Egypt had told them. They let the boys live. The choice they made was to disobey the king's command and obey God who is the life giver. They chose the way of life. They believed human life is precious and they have no right to kill the babies. What implications that has for us today? With their choice came with the consequences. They had to confront with the king. Can you imagine what these women felt when they were summoned to the king? These women chose to disobey the king's command as they knew that they were asked to do was wrong. Because they did the right thing, the thing that pleased God, they were blessed by God. Verse 20 says, So God treated the midwives well, and the people multiplied and became very strong. And because the midwives feared God, he made household for them. God helped them to choose the way of life. God blessed them for doing what is right in his eyes that bring us to a truth for all times, to be a woman of influence. Are we ready to do what is right in God's eyes? Know the difference between right and wrong and choose the right thing. This has been God's desire for all of us, all the way back to the Garden of Eden and all the way forward. God does not expect us to obey those in authority when they ask us to obey disobey him or his words. The Bible is filled with examples of those who were willing to sacrifice their own lives in order to obey God or save others. Esther is an example for this. Are we ready to choose the way of life? In Luke chapter 10, we can see the story of Mary and Martha. Jesus told Martha that Mary has chosen what is better and it will not be taken away from her. Let us pray that our Lord help us to choose what is better for us. Let's pray. Our loving Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us another chance to come before you. Help us to understand your words and also obey your commands, Lord. Help us to choose the way of life and also to be a woman of influence. Give us the ability to understand what is right or wrong. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Commit each one of us into your hands. Bless each one of us. Everything we ask in your precious name, our Savior and Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen.